So the big question is this, how do investors like us who trade options and manage our own money generate income regardless of where the stock market goes and do it all in a way that lets us make time for the people and things we love and yet still build wealth and remain profitable? That's the question and this podcast will give you the answer. I'm your host, Kirk Duplessis, and you're listening to The Daily Call from Option Alpha. Hey everyone, this is Kirk here again from Option Alpha and welcome back to The Daily Call. Today we're going to answer the question now, what is the difference between VXX and UVXY? So in yesterday's Daily Call podcast, we talked about VIX versus VXX. Today we're going to be talking about the differences between VXX and UVXY. Now there's a lot that we could get into and we'll try to narrow it down as much as possible, but the main difference between these two because they are both still ETNs and they do trade like ETFs and like ETNs. You can buy and sell them. You can trade options on them, et cetera. But the main difference is that UVXY is leveraged. So this could work to your advantage, depending on which direction you're trading it, or it could work to your disadvantage. So what happens with VXX is that VXX holds unleveraged positions in VIX futures. So it would consider typically sell the front month contracts that it's long and then buy the back month contracts to replace, right? Well, in the case of UVXY, they hold a leveraged position, sometimes 1.5. I know it's changed before. Uh, It was higher. I think it went down. But they hold a leveraged position in the VIX futures, which means that it's generally going to be a little bit more volatile in pricing than VXX. And that means in both directions, right? So we've talked about on the weekly podcast, the advantage or disadvantage to these pro or ultra ETNs, basically, that have these leveraged positions and how they work in either direction. So I would encourage you to go back through the weekly podcast to check out that show that we did. But again, that's really the main difference is that that leverage creates some additional drag, which you know, could, like I said, in times of high volatility be, you know, very beneficial if you're long volatility, but if you're short volatility, it could also work to your advantage unless you're using it as a hedge. So hopefully that helps out. As always, if you guys have any questions, let me know. And until next time, happy trading. Thanks for joining us on The Daily Call. Be sure to subscribe right now for more daily options trading ideas, strategies, and tactics to help you learn how to play smarter, more profitable trades. And if you like what we're doing, don't forget to give us a rating and a review so we can continue to bring you the best daily content possible. We'll see you again tomorrow right here on The Daily Call from OptionAlpha.com.